Emotions are at their peak today in the wake of the Environmental Protection Authority, EPA, a body meant to protect and conserve our WA environment, having granted recommended approval for developer Cedar Woods to go ahead with their huge proposal. So what's your position on the proposed development at Point Perrin, as in the inland marina and canal housing? It's in your local electorate as well as your residents. Is it a good or bad thing for Rockingham? Well, it is in my electorate. The EPA has made a ruling on it. The Minister will now make a decision on whether, whether or not it's approved. I expect the Minister will approve it. Uh, at the end of the day, it needs to have the highest environmental standards. Uh, but the EPA has had a look at all the environmental issues and I accept their judgment. Several action groups conducted a peaceful protest today outside the offices of developer Cedar Woods in West Perth and marched to the steps of WA Parliament House where they presented over 8,000 original signature strong petition to Green Senator Lynn McLaren. My particular concern in this proposal is the coastal processes. They're dredging. Uh, it is uh, basically highly unusual in Australia to have a canal development in this day and age because of the impact on the surrounding coastal ecosystems. This area also sits within a regional park. It's uh, closely associated with threatened ecological communities. It's associated with important marine assets that will be disturbed by these activities and it potentially the marine environment uh, is contaminated. It's just essentially a la land grab that they're trying to paint as community infrastructure or community facility when there's another uh, location that's already been approved. A development like this, if it's done properly and it minimises environmental harm and also ensures maximum local employment, does have the opportunity of providing local jobs for people and also a range of social opportunities. But it has to be done right. We've seen bad examples in the past. My view is that a development like this needs to be managed very carefully and if it's done right it can be a benefit. Certainly we all want this to go ahead and protect the environmental values uh, but it's important to note the project is actually at Mangles Bay. Uh, it won't impact Cape Perrin to the south uh, and there are a lot of conditions imposed to ensure that the, uh, the job is done thoroughly and properly. EPA Chairman Paul Vogel released a 138-page report that recommended the proposal by Cedar Woods and Landcor be given the green light by WA Environment Minister Albert Jacob. He said the authority had thoroughly examined the Mangles Bay proposal at the highest level of assessment and has recommended approval subject to a suit of strict conditions to protect the area's environmental values. Environment Minister Albert Jacob declined an interview but offered this statement. The EPA has recommended approval for a marina at Mangles Bay in Rockingham with 11 strict environmental conditions. It is currently out to a two-week period of public appeal closing the 13th of May. It would be inappropriate to make any further comment while that process is ongoing. There's some huge environmental issues that have not been addressed by the proponents. That is mainly because um, they wrote the environmental impact assessment issue uh, documents. They were the ones who decided which issues they were going to look at and which ones they weren't and it's now been left up to the public to raise the environmental uh, issues that have not been looked at. The appeals process closes on Monday. We have a princely two weeks to respond to something that the EPA has had more than a year to deal with. We're taking great encouragement from the EPA's decision uh, to recommend the uh, project for conditional approval. Uh, that says to me that the environmental impacts uh, are being managed and will be managed and certainly Cedar Woods is very keen to uh, deliver a good outcome here both for the environment and for the community. We need to get people to put in appeals to the Environmental Protection Authority's conditional approval. That's just a matter of going onto the Environmental Protection Authority website and making a submission against their decision. One of the things we're really excited about is, is, is moving through the uh, environmental approvals and obviously we're not there yet uh, and getting into the planning phase. The outcome is imminent. Point Parents' final fate will soon rest with the state then Commonwealth Government. I'm Melissa Gurney for Undercurrents.